Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED strip. Now, if you want to know why this is going to benefit your enclosure as well as the health of your animal, then make sure you stay tuned because that's coming up right after this. And welcome back. So for those of you who are new to the channel, then this is the latest build that we've done on this channel, which is gonna house my male panther chameleon. So we completely redid his enclosure with a bioactive setup. It's got expanding foam backgrounds and sides, and it's all planted, but I'll leave a link in the description for the playlist if you wanna go and see how we made this enclosure. Now, for those of you who own chameleons, you'll already know that lighting plays a key part in keeping your animals healthy. Now very often not, we will overlook visual light when we concentrate on UVB and heat lamps as much as we do. But it is very important because we're never going to simulate what happens in the wild and we're never going to recreate the sun in these sort of enclosures. But it is still really important that we try and get as close to, to it as possible. Now visual light will help reptiles identify basking spots, it helps with hormonal processes as well. Now I'm not the best person to sort of explain scientific stuff. I do look into these things, but I'm not very good at regurgitating that information back out. But what I would say is go and check Liam out at Reptile Research, um, another YouTube channel. Um, go and show him some support. He's got some great content out there and he's always looking at ways to improve the husbandry of keeping reptiles and just change it for the better. And I'm sure that you'll agree what a great cause. Now what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description for his video on this sort of lighting. He does go into detail around the science of why this is important. So he'll definitely do a better job than I will have explained in that. Now he does have some amazing content, content on his channel ex trying to help people identify where they can better their husbandry and does actually look into scientific research of animals in the wild to try and better our ability to care for them in a captive situation. So amazing channel, go and check him out Liam. I've already contacted him a couple of times and he's been more than helpful. And I'm sure he'd appreciate the support you go and check out his channel. But I think we need to crack on and get it unboxed, see the product itself and get it set up. We'll see, hopefully it'll help the plants grow as well. I'll see the light is gonna help with the plants and not just your animal. But again, make sure you go and check out Liam's video on this topic, it was really, really helpful. It's something I, some things in there that I wasn't aware of as well and I've learned from it. And I've also gone through a series of videos and they are great quality content. And I've been chatting to him a little bit on a topic that I'd like to cover in this video, but I'd love to collab with him if you're listening Liam then I'd love to collab with you on the ball python topic, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. But, I'm waffling on. Let's get this unboxed. Okay, so now we've got it unboxed. So as you can see, it's a nice sort of sleek looking unit. It's quite tidy. Obviously you can see the LEDs in there. I don't know if you can see them on camera. There you go. So a really efficient lighting unit. Never used one of these before, but I am going to be getting one as well for Castro's tank because she's only has the UVB in there at the moment and definitely something I want to invest in. So we'll be getting that very soon. Now it does come with some Clips. Now if you do have a wooden viv, which I'll be doing with Castro's, you do basically attach these clips to the roof of the tank and then just push the light up and clip it in. But obviously we're not going to do that because it's going to be resting on top of this enclosure. Now it also comes with an instruction manual, most things do. It comes with a power cord for this. But also, the good thing about this, if you've got the newer um, UVB unit, then you can actually hook these up together and only have one plug. So that's quite good, but I've got the old T5s, I think, on Burt's tanks. So we're not going to be able to do that. But if you've got the UVB and this, then you're only going to need one plug. Amazing. So why don't we go ahead now and get it set up.
brighter, but it gives her a completely different look and let's be fair, the health of the animals and the plants are the most important. Now, I did like the look of it when it had just, you know, just bog standard whatever lighting it had lying round on it. It did look a bit moody, but hopefully it'll help some of these plants. Some of the creeping figs looking a little bit limp, so I'm hoping the decent light now will bring those back. Also, when we add Bert into this enclosure, it's just gonna help and aid in his health as well. Obviously, he's getting on, he's getting old now. Um, now, I'll always leave a link down in the description for this product as well, so if you wanna go and check out some of yourself, and I definitely recommend looking into, it, looking into them. The first protocol would be Liam's video at Reptiles Research, and again, the link is down in the description for that video, as well as his channel. Like I said, some amazing content, some amazing content on there. Now, I am going to be looking to add Bert into this enclosure this week, so it's probably on the next sh short video I do, I think. Um, now, I just need to move this enclosure. It's a lot heavier since the substrate in there, so I'm going to wait for my fiance to get home and help me with that, and we're going to move it into the corner next to the desk. But I've also had delivery of the ball python vivarium, so we'll be building that this week as well. Probably I'll do that tomorrow and film it. And then obviously we, I need to try and get a stand for the 30C aquarium as well because I can't find a 30 centimetre square stand anywhere. I did find one but they're out of stock and they discontinued so we have to look into DIY or carry on looking I suppose. So that'll be coming up very soon. But the only thing to report on this enclosure really because we've only set it up the last couple of days and it would have been the last video you've seen is some of these bromeliads are starting to flower out which are really nice and nice blue flowers in them. Never had that in these bromeliads before. So hope, hopefully now the light will aid in their growth and their health. But as always, a massive thanks for checking out today's video. If you can hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out any future videos. As well as drop me that thumbs up and leave me a comment to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these. But plenty of exciting things to come. Don't miss out. Hit that bell icon and I'll see you in the next video.